What up, folks? Welcome back to Ultrazilla Living Room, and I'm here with my guest, Mike Monge. Hello, folks. I'm Mike Monge. <laughs> and we just came back from the New Jersey uh, Toy Con, uh, which was in Parsippany, New Jersey, and uh, it was pretty cool, no? It was a very good show. Yeah, it was actually a lot bigger than uh, I think either one of us expected. Yeah. Uh, there was like room after room, so uh, we went through it like twice, two times and a half, I'd say. Yeah, it's, and it's a hike. Yeah, and uh, I feel like uh, I feel like I didn't see everything. <laughs> um, maybe because you know you kind of go back and forth aisle to aisle, and you you, you definitely miss something. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I was looking for uh, online reviewer Rocket Punch Army, and I don't think I found them, but I might have. There was no sign or anything, so I don't know. There was a couple guys that looked like him, you know. Chachi Power is in and out of videos, so you kind of you, you know he's not really in the videos. You kind of see him every once in a while and something. Uh, so I'm not sure, but if I did, hey, if not, I missed you. Sorry, man. We made the Valiant effort. We made a Valiant effort, we did. Mm -hmm. But it was pretty cool. What was uh, some of the things you saw that like stood out to you? I saw uh, the Bionic Man and Sasquatch. I saw R2-D2. A real R2-D2. R2 we there. did not take a picture with him, uh, unfortunately. We tried. Um, we just didn't really think about it at first, I guess. Like when we, fir like, when we first walked in, R2-D2 was right there to greet us. Uh, and then afterwards, when we came back, we were thinking about taking a picture with him, and they were carting it out. Like, literally, like a life-size R2-D2. It was a sad moment in uh, Tory Khan history. <laughs> but uh, other than that, it was fantastic. Uh, yeah, it was, it was really cool. There was a lot of cool items. Um, one thing that stood out to me that I didn't get was um, the uh, new Secret of the Ooze... Uh, Ninja Turtles, that are the Walmart exclusives, I finally saw them, and the whole set, and I, I was really tempted to pick them up, and it, they really surprised me, because they're huge, yeah. right? Like, that, that was, like, an amazing thing to see in person, because it literally, like, like it went from being a figure that I was like, eh, if I, you know, but a uh, line of figures that I was like, if I see them, you know, we don't have a Walmart here where we are, uh, so we'd have to trek pretty far to get to a Walmart, so... If I saw one, I'd be like, yeah, cool. But now I'm kind of like fiending for it. And I was like, I'm kind of disappointed. You know, I didn't pick them up. But, you know, I'm kind of happy with what I did pick up. So they're, that was they're, cool. They're much nicer figures uh, than in the pictures, actually. The, uh, uh, Ninja Turtles. Yeah, they are. They're very cool, the, the Ninja Turtles. I was really impressed with them. Yeah, and all the way out, Vanilla Ice looked really disappointed with us for not picking them up. <laughs> he shook his head and gave us a look of shame. <laughs> So, but there was a lot of cool things. Uh, I will have pictures up on uh, my Facebook page, Ultrazilla Toys, so um, the link will be down below. Give a check to that. Uh, but we did pick up some things, so we have a little bit of a haul. We both picked up two items each, I believe. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, Mike, you want to show one of your items? Yes. Uh, my coffee down here, and I will show. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, He-Man figures and uh, Four Horsemen, uh, the work that they do. So uh, I was really happy, to, excited to see uh, Mythic Legions figures at one of the booths. So I uh, picked up this uh, fellow here, uh, Sir Ignatius, I believe his name is. He's nice. A excellent figure. Um, he looks he, gorgeous. Yeah. This is the first time I, I saw Mythic Legions at Toy Fair, but this was the first time I've seen it in package somewhere. Yeah. And it's really nice. The, very, the actual production uh, figure is really cool. I kind of want some of these. Yeah, I cannot recommend these more. They're very good. They're very uh, excellent figures. Uh, their workmanship is uh, superb. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. I'm I'm impressed. Look at that shield. That is so awesome. And like, uh, there's no unboxing because uh, I'm a big baby and I take everything out. Uh, took him out in the car. In the car, like uh, like a child. No, it's it's so, it was fun. Fun, fun to yeah, see him. Nah, it was cool. So, yeah, I mean, uh, so also, uh, let me let me go, let me go next. We'll do one at a time. Yes. So I got something for Ultrazilla Junior. Who's uh, out with his grandparents, I believe, right now. So I think he's gonna really dig this. And it's actually something I didn't have uh, when we were collecting in like the 90s, when we were like in high school and stuff, and a little bit after that. We had like a lot of cool figures. We had like the Kenner Aliens figures, oh, nice, yeah. and like um, the Power to Force a little bit towards you know like you know as the 90s went on. But we also had the Trendmaster uh, Godzilla line, which I thought was awesome. But I only had the smaller ones, so. I picked up this dude for Ultrazilla Jr. 
who's obsessed with Mecha Godzilla. I'm not too sure if he's gonna be obsessed with this Mecha Godzilla, but he's always asking for a different Mecha Godzilla, and I believe it still works. That's really awesome. So I'm like, I kind of, I almost want to keep it for myself. <laughs> but I did say, I did tell him I would buy him a, a little something there. And probably Mechagodzilla. So we're going to shut him off. Good purchase. <laughs> so yeah, this was a, a good price. I got this for 25 bucks. Not bad, right? I mean, I've seen the little ones at this point go for, for that price. So to get one of the big ones, yes, it's open, you know, but it's in good condition. There's like a few scratches here and there. But... Not bad. You know, I'm just gonna give him a little bit of a polish and give it to, uh, to Ultrazilla Jr. I think he's gonna really dig it. I hope he digs it. Cool. And you, sir? So, I'm gonna uh, drink some espresso, espresso. fine espresso. Take a little espresso break. Cheers. To the toys. To Sasquatch. Sasquatch. We did see multiple Sasquatches, actually. Yeah, Sasquatch. No, Sas figures, figures. Sasquatch Eye? No. I got this, uh, I don't know, obscure character here, and maybe, uh, maybe not so obscure. I got the uh, NECA Superman, dun, 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 six inch, excellent figure. Uh, I'm very happy with this purchase. Uh, I got it for a very good deal, and. Uh, yeah, I was surprised, and uh, I'm kind of regretting not getting one for myself as well. Yes, this is. Uh, Would you pay like twenty three bucks? Yes, that's what I paid. Yes. It's definitely going more for, uh, you know, it's definitely going for more on eBay. Excellent. Love the it's key. really nice. The articulation is nice. I seem to have gotten a pretty good one so far. That's not the wood. Right, because uh, these are yeah, kind of messed them, up. Some of them have some problems with the leg articulation, and uh, some of them break easily. But uh, I've been pretty careful with him so far. Seems like a really great piece. So yeah. Looks just like him. That's really awesome. Excellent. Uh, pretty happy with this purchase. All right, and my other purchase. Uh, was something I, I looked at, I saw, I wanted it, and I was just like, damn, I really want this, and I walked around for a while. It was either this or the Turtles, because again, the Turtles were going, they were selling them for 130 I was definitely not paying 130 I'm sorry, guys, I'm not paying, like, these insane prices for figures that are mass market and out now, even if it's exclusive to Walmart. I was definitely going to try to talk him down to 100 you know, uh, maybe I would have gotten it, maybe not. But this other figure, like, really made me really want it. Um, it's something I've wanted, so. This is a big one. Oh, I got <laughs> Reximus Prime. Uh, if you're not familiar with what this is, it's in, like, uh, pretty much a KO uh, upscaled version of uh, Masterpiece Grimlock. <laughs> it's awesome. So I, I got a pretty good deal on it. Uh, so I was uh, pretty happy. Uh, the price that he, the dealer was selling it for was already good. And then, you know, it was the end of the show, so I was able to get a little bit less for it. I understood. Like, I wanted it for even less, but... He wasn't going for it, and I totally understood. I know what this goes for, like, you know, online, so I already had that prior knowledge. So I'm gonna take this out just to, to look at it further, really quick. It's, it's a little hard to see, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Oh boy, look at this big boy. That's something. That is amazing. So I got the, you know, the black version, as they say, you know, there's also the more uh, comic book version, um, which is blue instead of black, and uh, they had it as well, and also the, uh, the yellow version comes with a different color sword, and uh, two crowns, I'm not sure why two crowns, I can't, I didn't really know. Um, but the problem was, and I couldn't decide between the two, but the, the deciding factor was um, that the, the blue one, the only one he had, and he had a couple of these, but the, the blue one, um, had, uh, like a sprue piece not cut off on his head, and it looked really bad. It looked really bad. It was, like, right next to his, like, goggles there, and, uh, it just, it didn't look good. It was, it would have bothered me, like, to no end. 
So that was the deciding factor. Plus, I saw that the um, the claws were a little like scratched up. It is like a KO figure, so it's gonna happen. They're not like completely perfect, but it's amazing and it's huge and it's heavy and it's awesome. It's very impressive. The dinosaur mode. They had one. Uh, very nice piece. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm gonna have a hard time deciding what mode to put it in because Grimlock is one of those characters that I like in both modes. So I'm very happy to have this. This is amazing, so, and uh, yeah, I'm glad I was able to work out a deal. So all in all, it was a good show, I thought. Yeah. And it was some cool, some cool things. I saw some like really awesome, um, like really old school, like um, super robot stuff, and some awesome old school, like Godzilla stuff, and then the usual Marvel, DC, whatever, and we saw like a ton of, ton of figures. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of glad we only stuck to a few things each, a couple of things each here because we probably would have been broke. And I was really almost debating going back for those turtles, uh, but another time. But anyway, thanks, Mike, for coming along with me. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Great, great time, great show, uh, great purchases. Yeah, man. And, uh, you know, and thank you for checking out this little haul video slash con report. And, you know, I'll catch you in the next video. Yeah. yeah.